life, many things go wrong. Our strings break. But we have in ourselves to be, the ability to play with our lives, to go on with the music, sometimes with even more meaning. When we look around us, we see our children and they inspire us all the time. Our first speaker for today is Ishika Shaw. Sixteen-year-old Ishika grew up living in one of the busiest pavements of Kolkata. She has endured untold adversities of street living. When I first met Ishika, I was struck by her confidence her poise and purpose. She is a street champion with the Child in Need Institute, a 50-year-old institution with an unparalleled record in child protection services. Ishika studies in class 10, but works with a passion to improve street-connected children's accessibility to services that we all take for granted. She will change how we think about these children and she will change the world for these children. Ishika. Thank you, ma'am. Hello, I'm Ishika from Kolkata. Now, tell me what comes to your mind when I say the word street child. Perhaps you would get a picture of a helpless orphan wearing clothes that are torn, begging on the streets, or an adolescent who is addicted, engaged in petty crimes. Maybe you see a starving child looking for food in the garbage dump near your buildings. These are true to some extent, but there is a much longer story that speak about the strength we have and the capability we have, which make us survive in such conditions. Most of you look at us like we are very different from other children. But like other children, we also live with our families, our parents, our grandparents, as well as siblings. Only we do not have a roof over our heads. And we have rights too. Like we go to school, our mom is making a tiffin for us at 5 o'clock in the morning and our sister. But yet, when people look at us, they only see the dirty clothes. Government uncle and aunties who make the schemes for free ration, free healthcare or free insurance, they do not think about our problems that we have. And that's why we do not get our documents easily, such as birth certificate, Aadhaar card and so on. I will give you my background. I'm 16 years old and I'm studying in the 10th standard my young sister and I are the first person in our family who are completing our education beyond the primary levels and it has not been easy. If you ever come to Kolkata, you will find me living on a pavement under a plastic shade in front of a red huge building in the busiest street of the city. And we keep our belongings such as flow clothes, food, utensils, under a wooden plank on which we sleep. And my father stays away from us as he walks in the other state. And our mommy is working on a day every day because we have a need for support of coaching. Because we don't have any such person who can support us in studying. So we have to go to coaching classes. So my mommy is working on a day every day for that. And I'm, and I'm very grateful that uh, I and my sister can secure scholarships to study in an English medium school. And I realized that speaking English would open up a lot of doorways for us. And there was also a day when we have a book of school, a report card of the school, and then we have a document that we have given. It was fake. Or the rain बारिश आता है, साइक्लोन होता है, उसमें भींग चुका था सारा बुक्स, डॉक्यूमेंट्स और ये आधार कार्ड, वधार कार्ड, वो सब पूरा भींग चुका था। I guess you must be thinking why I didn't went to a children's home. 
well i was given a chance but i didn't wanted to live without my family because why should i choose between safety and my family i saw some of my friends being very sad as being very scared as they do as people try to open their shirts button or cut through their skirts as they were asleep on the pavement i used to get very angry in the beginning i used to ask my mother are we invisible why we are never considered to be a part of the same community people as others who have their roof over their heads i always felt i had lots to say and i'm glad that i could raise my voice to the people of the world including united nation yes recently i spoke to the world leaders in the united nation to take immediate action to ensure that the children like me are not excluded from the rights that we have it all started when i heard about sini attended their trainings and workshops and got to learn skills like public speaking trust me my my teachers used to complain to my mother that i don't talk at all because i was scared of people judging me attend when i started attending the trainings and workshops i started speaking out and now my teachers complain that i talk too much then came the period of lockdown remember that time when the world suddenly came to a stop now think what happened to the lives of the children like us and i saw some of my friends being very sad as they could not afford internet to attend online classes i had to do something हम अपने पापा का फ़ोन लेकर क्योंकि हमारे पापा वापस आ गए थे क्योंकि उनका जॉब छूट गया था तो वो हमारे घर वापस आ गए थे उनके पास एक स्मार्टफोन था हम लोग वो स्मार्टफोन लेकर हम और हमारी दोस्त लोग हम लोग एरियाज़ मैप किए जहाँ जहाँ वाईफाई जोन्स अवेलेबल है जैसे कि रेलवे स्टेशन बस स्टॉप जहाँ जहाँ पर भी वाई फाई अवेलेबल था हम लोग वहाँ वहाँ जाकर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस करना स्टार्ट किए ऑनलाइन क्लासेस करने के बाद हम लोग को पता चला कि बहुत जन को गवर्नमेंट स्कीम्स के बारे में नहीं पता है तो उन लोगों को हम लोग अवेयर करते थे कि गवर्नमेंट स्कीम्स कैसे मिल सकता है उन लोगों को और कैसे हम लोग वो सुविधा उन तक पहुंचा सकते हैं और इसी दौरान हम लोग को मतलब हम लोग जब बस स्टॉप्स और रेलवे स्टेशन में हम लोग जाते थे अपना ऑनलाइन क्लासेस करने तो वहाँ पर बहुत शोर होता था तो इसलिए हम लोग के पास कोई एक ऐसा जगह नहीं था जहाँ पर हम लोग अपना शांति से अपना पढ़ाई कर सके हम लोग के एरिया में एक टी स्टॉल था जो पूरा तरीके से बंद हो चुका था तो वहाँ पर हम लोग क्या किए वहाँ पर एक बेंच बैठाकर हम लोग वहाँ पर अपना पढ़ाई करना स्टार्ट किए और ऐसे ही कर और फिर कोविड जब आया था तब उन लोगों को कुछ भी नहीं पता था कोविड के बारे में कि कैसे हाथ धोया जाता है कैसे मास्क पहना जाता है कैसे सोशल डिस्टेंसिंग मेंटेन किया जाता है तो फिर हम लोग हम और हमारे दोस्त लोग मिलके हम लोग उन लोगों को अवेयर करते थे कि कैसे सोशल डिस्टेंसिंग मेंटेन करते हैं कैसे मास्क पहनते हैं कैसे हैंड वॉश करते हैं ये सब के बारे में हम लोग जाके उन लोगों को ट्रेनिंग देते थे एंड आई एम स्टिल लर्निंग एवरी डे अबाउट हाउ आई कैन ब्रिंक द चेंज सो दैट पी so that the people who we do not remain invisible anymore i need all of you to recognize us think about us and speak about us so that people who make decisions regarding children like us also count us in like others children who have their roof over their heads thank you